Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 10 of the Mummy Mom Platinum Randomized Nuzlocke. We are, uh, uh, we, I haven't done anything between last episode and this one because I figured there might be like a story scene that happens uh, relatively soon. <laughs> so I didn't want to like leave the uh, gym and get caught with cutscene. Um, so I haven't grinded any of my Pokemon up more. I'm not sure if the gym leader is meant to be like, oh, this is the intended level of the Pokemon that you should have. Um, so I'm just going to head up and see if I can... Orberg City of Energy. Ooh, coal. Coal energy. Um, okay. So this is a new route, Route 207. So I need to put Homura up first so I can get some DOTs on. And hopefully this will be Pokemon number six. Okay, Dugtria. I'll take a Dugtria. I'll take a ground type. Never wrong. No, nothing can ever go wrong with a ground type. Although it probably doesn't know Dig. And I like this design, how they made the... Uh, it was sort of like the Dugtrio design, where they made one head the anime face. And then they um, made the other heads, like, additions. Like, it looks like these are just, like... Those are like hair buns that have the face on it. But Dugtree had like them being like shoulder pads. Um, I'll fire spin. Get all the DOTs on. So the annoying part about uh, Homura is that it's kind of hard to uh, level her, him, it, they. Um, because they only have Shadow Force. So you can't really do it against a normal type. I'm not sure if it's doesn't work against a ground type I don't want to really try it um, I'll just try fire spin again because it didn't seem to do much damage the first time yeah yeah and with this way uh, me getting back uh, health through leech seed and whatnot I just stay at full health the entire time which raises my capture rate I believe and I think this next turn is the turn I'm going to uh, try and catch it because I think it can survive one more turn of just the DOT damage without any additional uh, without any additional moves so if this doesn't catch uh, which damn it which it didn't uh, next one will be uh, a higher chance okay so all the hail the firestorm and leech seed should drop it just down into red Hopefully not killing it. Okay. So, last Pokeball. Come on. Give it to me. Give me a Dug Trio. Come on. One. Two. Three. Yes. Good. Got Dug Trio. Dope. That's really nice. <laughs> I was worried. It has three heads move alternately. Alternately, driving it through tough soil to depths over 60 miles. Damn. Okay, Dugtrio. Uh, 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 you know what? I'm going to name you... Dia. You know what? Yeah, I'll go with Dia. Uh, the most base healing move in uh, the Shin Megami Tensei series. I'll go with that. For no other reason than it sort of sounds like a name, but I have personal history with liking that move because healing is always nice in any game. So, I'm going to. Like, I know that there's some sort of story thing that lets me drop a drop a fossil in here. But I don't know what. I think I might have to go back to the mine or something. Uh, I'm going to go back to the beginning of the town. Uh, okay. Thud. 
Uh, whoops, bruh. You got the gym badge. Oh, what? Sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad, bad. Whoops, bruh. Puffle, bruh. You got the gym badge, huh, bruh? Uh, Eternal City is the next place with a gym that gives away badges, right, bruh? So, yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't get through that with that bicycle. I made my team battle uh, and toughened them up, so it wasn't a waste, bruh. So, I'm going back to Jubilee FC. Next stop to Eternal Gym Badge. 10 seconds before I dash. Nine. Bah, who's got time to count, bruh? Okay. That explains that. Uh, I'm gonna check out these houses, see if there's anything. Um, no, I don't feel like talking them out. Really don't. So, uh, I'm gonna clear out these guys because they seem to be, they might be at level for, uh, but yeah, this is why, because you need a fast bike to get up there. Okay, I thought he was gonna be a someone we could fight. Probably shouldn't have Homer still up front. Okay, I could have gotten a Taylor. Uh, which is normal flying, so I can't really attack it. Which kind of sucks. I'm just gonna run. Uh, what I will do is I will go not into my bag. I feel like I should be able to go to my Pokemon menu from my bag menu. I'm gonna switch these two up front. Uh, okay, yeah, you really just can't get anywhere. Ooh, berries. More berries. Okay, and, uh, Marowak. Okay, so not even a uh, non evolved form. It's good. Um, I think Cross Trap would be good against it. Bam. Okay, not nearly as good as I wish it was. Um, I'm just gonna go to Cooper. Cooper seems to be my go-to Pokemon. I jump kick. Yeah, I'm not gonna do any damage. Uh, I'm just gonna use Dragon Claw. The switch out tactic is strong. Probably gonna be grinding for a little bit uh, in the next between next episode and this one a swine up so that would have been a ice type possibly a normal ice um, I'm just gonna switch out and I'm gonna try and risk it uh, want to get Neptune some levels. So basically, my idea is probably gonna be trying to get everyone to like 16. between episodes. Yes, good. I'm surprised Grass was good against it. And I'm surprised it's faster than me. I'm double its level, and it's not like I'm a slow Pokemon. Okay. Okay, good. Now I can run. I'm going to... So I have to go back to Jubilife. So I can head in a different direction. Uh, maybe... Because there's that guy who's blocked me from going left. So maybe that's where I need to go. Um, and... Because... It would make sense to keep these guys up front. But if my rival decides to challenge me to a fight, I would rather not have them up front. Because that means... Uh, different Pokemon would just be guaranteed to uh, be subject to at least some move. Uh, what what's this house? Uh, yeah. Okay. Different. Uh, okay. Just have different natures and stuff. Neat. What's up? Okay. What's up, kid? Can I see your trainer case? Got a gym badge? Yeah. Okay, and this will give me a chance to uh, go up. Here, which was previously unaccessible due to okay, booted up an HM. Yes. Okay. So in my randomizer, I made it so any Pokemon could learn any HM, I believe, unless I just conveniently have, um, unless I just conveniently have it 
Oh, that way. Alright, no support move. Which move should we forgotten? Damn, that is a great move. Uh, the trap hurts was that switch into battle. I'm probably never going to use this. So I would rather just make Derpy Der uh, my HM slave. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Finian. So it seems like past the rocks they boot, uh, boosted the level because they assumed that you would have to be stronger to get here. Or at least that's what it seems like to me. Not absolutely sure, but I would just assume. Okay, so that was a crit and only did 8 damage. Not worried about it. See, I wish I had the XP share. I'm not when I I'm not sure when I get that. Because it works like Ooh, that's a that's a downstairs. Well, okay. Let's explore Orber Gate. What does it say up top? Uh no, it's all Orber Gate. Uh I'll go down here, see if If it's much stronger. Oh yeah, I probably need a bike to get through most of this. You see those bumps on the ground? Okay. But okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Because I believe I'll have to go through here to get to the next place, the, the next town. Oh yo, what's up, horsey? <laughs> I'm your dad. <laughs> Come say hello to daddy. Get McSwizzled. <laughs> Become sustenance for your seniors. Find Moonstone. Okay, so if I get a Clefairy, I'll be able to evolve it. <laughs> okay. And then get that item. Because I, I don't quite remember. Bennett. Okay, so that's the evolved form of Shuppet, I believe. I believe. Uh, let's try attack order. Because you're probably not very heavy. Mega Horn. Is that one hit KO? Okay, no. Okay. I got I got worried for a sec. Um Grass Knot. Okay, that did Okay, so it restores HP when it's poisoned. So that was an unlucky uh, type uh, type thing. Okay, leveled. That's good. So I've yet to get any Pokemon to evolve, which kind of sucks. Um. Oh damn. Okay. And I don't see how this would lead to another city. So, Pichu, I know better than to believe that you are extremely incapable of anything. Uh, let's try Bug. Good. I can kill level 6 in one hit. Great. Especially a Pichu, which is a TM2020 Teeter Dance. Okay. Probably never going to use Teeter Dance. Because that would be... That Teeter Dance is a move that locks you in. A Magmar. Okay. I'm not sure how I feel about Magmar's design. Like, I feel like its eye... Like, I understand why its eyes are, like, pretty low. Like, it seems like their eye, like, the eyelids are, like, dark. But I'm not sure how I like it. I feel like I would have liked him better if it wasn't. Okay, Special Attack Rose, Vital Throw. Okay, only did 4 damage. And then Charge Beam will be stronger because its special attack went up. Yeah, it's just a good move to keep using over and over and over again. Good. And I believe it was Silver, like Silver version, that they added Magby and Elekid. I believe that's right. Which honestly were some of my favorite um, 
additions. Because I, I always like... Because there are certain Pokemon that definitely felt like they should have had a, a pre-evolution. Like, uh, adding Pichu to Pikachu. Like, it wasn't... Like, that one was probably less needed than other ones. But it, was, it still felt good, because it made Pikachu seem more like a starter Pokemon. Which, like, in Yellow version and in the anime, he technically is. Um, okay, so we explored downstairs. Uh, and we're going to be exiting uh, this tunnel. And uh, I guess I'll get to town and then end the episode there, because no real reason to not. Uh, okay. Jubilee City. Oh, what's up, Looker? Tell me, have you not obtained a pal pad? Pal pad free to anyone. Okay. Pokemon Center's basement. There's to be no one shady in this city. Uh, investigation, but my friend, I suggest you remain vigilant for shady grown-ups. Okay, dude in a trench coat. So he's basically, that's just telling me I can go to the Pokemon Center now and the downstairs won't be blocked by a uh, person. Uh, so with that, I'm going to end this episode here because uh, I'm going to go grind <laughs> a little bit. So I hope you all have a very nice day and will join me in episode 11. Bye.